As an average home movie maker, one of the most common problems you'll face is trying to get a reasonable audio quality, especially when it comes to reducing wind noise in your outdoor shots. Most consumer level camcorders and still cameras seem to be particularly susceptible to this problem. Now I know all the experts insist that in order to get good sound you need to either record using an external microphone or even use a standalone audio recording device. In fact these solutions do provide much easier access to wind noise reduction because they either come with or are compatible with already made wind blockers. While this may be excellent advice it fails to take into consideration the reality of the conditions under which most of us are trying to shoot our footage. No one really wants to be that poor sap on holidays with the family or the lonely guy at the party desperately lugging around all sorts of junk for the purpose of getting some good video. So my view on this is that yes it's true you should record your sound that way but if you still want to be part of the fun then some kind of compromise needs to occur. For me that compromise is to go ahead and use the onboard microphone of my camcorder because these microphones usually do a not too bad job of recording. Unfortunately the one area they are prone to disaster is that of wind noise. Because of that I decided to do some research online to find some way of building my own wind noise suppression solution that was cheap and easy to put into action. What I found was that if you do a little looking around the internet you'll find there are quite a few videos and sites offering advice on the subject and most of them are pretty good. Almost all of them suggest using open cell foam as the basis for a homemade wind noise suppressor. They then go on to tell you that you can get this type of phone in the form of packing material and a million other places. The problem is that amongst the huge variety of open cell foam available, the performance levels vary enormously. In light of that, and given that I had time to do it, I put on my mad professor hat and decided to go into testing mode to see which foam actually worked best at cutting wind noise for my camcorder. I won't bore you with all the details, but I eventually came up with a solution that not only works very well at cutting out wind noise, but is made with a type of foam that everyone can get a hold of easily and cheaply. So the question is, what is this rare and elusive open cell foam substance for the making of a wind suppressor? Well, this is it. Yep, that's right, it's one of those yellow foam scrubby thingies that you use in the kitchen for washing up. Apparently the reason it works so effectively is that the foam is not just open cell, but also because it has a very densely packed structure. Once I found the ideal foam, it then just became a matter of using a box cutter to shape the noise reducer and then attach it to the camcorder or still camera being used. Some people recommend just gluing the thing on but I didn't really want to do that. Others suggest using adhesive tape over the foam but I found that doing it like that cut out a lot of the audio that I actually wanted. I tried using reusable adhesive putty and although this was pretty good for the very small tiny still camera it fell over on the camcorder. This was mainly because the opening on the camcorder was larger and the foam lacked the stiffness to hold on very well. So finally I came up with this. To do it, I took a piece of white cardboard and placed it over the microphone opening. I then traced around the outer shape of the opening with a pencil. I used the cardboard initially because it was easy to work with and I could keep placing back in position and make adjustments as I went along. Using a pair of fine scissors and a box cutter, I carefully cut away the cardboard until I had the outside shape right. Then I started carefully cutting out the center part that would go over the microphone holes on the camcorder and a tint until eventually I had a little frame. Once the cardboard frame was how I wanted it, I used that as a template to cut out the exact same shape using an old credit card. At that point I had another frame made out of credit card thickness plastic. All I had to do then was glue the foam to the plastic frame, then use reusable adhesive putty to attach the wind noise suppressor to the camcorder. The use of adhesive putty allows me to attach or remove the wind noise suppressor whenever I want. The following video was recorded on a simple handheld camcorder, a Sony HC90, off the coast of Kotakinabalu in Malaysia. It was done on an extremely windy day in a boat going at top speed across the bay to an island. You can actually see in the video how much wind there was, but more importantly, there's almost no wind noise. Yes, you can hear a little but nowhere near as much as you would without the noise reduction cover and importantly you can still clearly hear the motor and the sound of the water slapping at the sides of the boat. So I hope this helps.